you know, our, our thought was we'll take some of our top advanced engineering folks and some of Airbus's top engineering folks and we'll pair them up. And we sent them out two by two and we sent them on an innovation hunt. And no better place than Oshkosh because Air Venture is just literally chock full of, of every idea under the sun. And uh, they came back with some phenomenal findings. The year after that innovation hunt, we had the Airbus A380 here, which was, you know, in, in the same sky as a one-man electric airplane, you have an Airbus A380. It was quite the sight. People who love aviation love aviation the same way all around the world. And so for an Airbus engineer to have the opportunity to walk around Oshkosh was just a tremendous, tremendous career, lifelong experience. But you know what they really took away was that there is just an amazing amount of, of innovation uh, going on here at Oshkosh. Small inventors. You know, the one-manned electric aircraft, the team that put that together said, hey, you know, we've had this idea for 15 years, but we didn't have the foundational technology. We didn't have the right battery. We didn't have the right motor. We didn't have the right motor controller. Those are the foundational technologies that we, GE, are highlighting here this week and highlighting in the Manned Electric Flight Symposium sponsored by the EAA Air Venture. The Wright brothers didn't fly a 787. The Wright brothers flew a Wright Flyer. And, but only 100 years later, we have basically a 787. So that's the path that electrification of airplanes is on. I think that really is what GE is, right? Our founder is Thomas Edison. Thomas Edison was our first CEO and, and a, a pretty innovative guy. And so the, the people that, that, that created the first X-ray machine were GE. The people who made the first uh, US jet engine were GE. The people who took the first jet engine in the United States to Mach 2 were GE. And so all of those innovations have always been a part of what we do. I wouldn't suggest we ever take an innovation, but we certainly use ideas in whatever form we can find them and try to use them in, in the fundamental research that we're doing around technology. I, I think if you, if you think about the entrepreneurs that have been successful, it's, they're successful because of passion. And that's what Oshkosh is. It's all passion. This is 10,000 airplanes and 150,000 people a day who are just absolutely passionate about aviation. And if you're going to be successful as an entrepreneur, whether you're the entrepreneur for battery technology or you're the entrepreneur for uh, an innovation in uh, aero structure, that passion has to be deep inside of you for you to be successful as an entrepreneur. It's going to be a long time before we replace fossil fuels as a driving force for a propulsion system. But a more electric aircraft and a more composite aircraft go hand in hand, and those aircraft are more efficient, lighter weight, have less emissions, and are lower noise. And those technologies are going to be used to power a manned electric flight and are going to be used to, to um, facilitate the systems on large aircraft. And it's, it's just a really exciting time to be in electric power. Aero TV is brought to you by Integra Release 9 sets a new standard with the easiest to use pilot interface in all of general aviation. Access to any of Release 9's powerful capabilities is as simple as pressing the desired bi-directional page key. Pressing the same key in a desired direction navigates to the clearly labeled tabs with no more guessing as to what a given pilot input would do. Avidine's Integra Release 9 is the next generation in fully integrated flight deck technology and the easiest to use page and tab user interface is just one of the many benefits designed to make your flying easier and safer.